Hey everyone, welcome back. I am back today with more of that time I got reincarnated as a slime, you guys. Um, I gotta say, now I feel like we're really getting into kind of like the moving plot, you know what I mean? We establish everything and now like we're still establishing stuff as we go, but we're really getting to see like more of this world, more of everything in action, um, more of Rimuru and what um, specifically Rimuru can do. Um, I am so down for it and I just have no doubt whatsoever that what's coming is probably not what I'm going to expect, but like I already have like some theories on <laughs> like what could it be, what could be coming. Um, so I will briefly just kind of go over um, how I felt about the last episodes that I watched before we jump into this next one. But first off, you guys, I just want to say if you're joining me early today, you know just what that means. That means that you are one of my awesome patrons. Thank you so much. And as always, I am sending you up those big old hugs right through that screen. And if not, still thank you for joining me today. I'm glad you're here. I do hope you'll consider supporting me that way. The link to my Patreon is going to be in that description down below. And if you are joining me on those YouTubes, I hope you'll hit like and subscribe for me. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, guys. So, you know, there's been all this mention of like there's a war going on or there's a war about to start. And there was like an individual who showed up at the end. We didn't really get to see them. And I'm like, oh, my God, where is this going? Um... I can only imagine that it has a lot to do with, like, that scene that we saw um, a few episodes back where, like, some of the, uh, I think we actually had, like, a few human characters pop up and they were kind of, like, chatting about, you know, kind of something related to uh, Veldora sort of, like, not being around anymore and it just seemed like there was a lot of there was a lot of kind of like perhaps social or political upset or something going on so I can kind of imagine that maybe um you know some of what they're talking about is going to have to do with that and a few of you have pointed out like if there's gonna be some kind of issues like watch it be like <laughs> watch it be like some of the human characters that you know trouble is brewing with um because we haven't seen, like, a whole lot of human stuff since we got to this world. We've been mostly dealing with, like, other creatures, which is fun because we get to know all other different kinds of creatures. And uh, last episode, we got to, last couple last couple of episodes, yeah, we got to um, kind of go and explore a new place and learn some new things. And we saw Rimuru in action a little bit more with, um, you know, kind of being able to... Uh, not only, like, duplicate stuff, but also a lot of the stuff we'd already done in, like, episodes prior kind of came, came back into the fold, like the magic ore, the potions, um, you know, it seems like whatever you need, Rimuru is able to kind of hook you up, so, um, I, I kind of see how they're building up, like, they build up his, um, power, like, just raw power, and now I feel like they're building up, um, kind of more, I hate to say like social skills, but kind of like a little bit more like world building skills of like, oh, okay, you need something, I can get it for you, we get it in order to do this, and it's almost kind of like video game, like where like you have a quest, you have to go seek this out first, and then you have to go do that, and you need this in order to get this, and so forth. Um, so... I'm just really happy with um, with how the story's going so far. We had like a little bit of levity last time, we know, um, and it seemed like that's it seemed like things are going to get a little bit more um, dramatic soon. So I will look forward to whatever they have in store for me there. Um, but without further ado, you guys, um, we are about to jump into episode five. So what do you say we go ahead and get started on the next episode of that time I got reincarnated as a slime? Let's go. It's, it's, it was an incredible feat. <laughs> We're still a pillow. It's gotta be a little bit like... I was gonna say, you can't possibly be able to copy every last detail, but... Oh, Gopta! That's right, we never did go back for Gopta. <laughs> What exactly are we trying? Massage? Say massage? 
We're doing this with the hands. I don't know what that means. Okay. I see that's ex exactly where the mind went. Okay. I guess I can see I can see the misunderstanding. Okay. We're going to find out the person you're destined to be with. Who? What? Show us. That looks like the the hero person, doesn't it? Oh, who are all these individuals? Yeah, I think that is the hero person. Or am I wrong? <laughs> There's so much jiggling going on right now. Oh. Minister Vesta. Is this the person we saw? We're done. What? It just said we're done. <laughs> I like how that was. We're, we're done. We're celebrating. Relax. Oh, is that what happened? I'm sorry. That has a name. <gasps> Would you like to see what this lovely monster can do, sir? Wow. What's... Are we real? Is this... Okay. We don't let monsters in places here? Come on. <gasps> you... Protected the dress. Not keeping really chill. Wow. You know what? You have you have a lot more. Oh, and now we can. Okay. <laughs> well, it's good that we internalize some info. I'm sure. Oh! You see, Rimuru is gonna keep their cool, but yeah, that's that's what I would have been tempted to do right there. Rimuru is a lot more calm than me. Well, <gasps> we're, we're out of here. We're leaving. We're out of here. Um, settle, sir. <laughs> okay. It's not going to be quite that simple. <sighs> Dang it. Yeah, they weren't just going to let him go for that. Oh no. Uh, how are we gonna get out of this one? They even have Oh they're pulling him on the ground. And Gobta just slept through this whole thing. Gobta's out. Hey, you know what? Who wouldn't have been tempted to punch that guy? Oh, <laughs> oh, why do I get the idea it's not going to be a very fair... No, I don't know. I don't like this. Yeah, something tells me it's going to be very one-sided. I see. And what happened to this king? Oh... Oh, I see. Magic soldier. So it's like a robot powered by magic? <gasps> no kidding. Wow. So you just, oh, wow. You know what? You took the responsibility. You took the fall and everything. Like, why is he still after you? That sucks. 
All these people are like nicer people than I would be in this situation. Okay, well, we're focusing on those good traits, I guess. Oh, offer still stands. Oh, let's shake the little slimy hand. This is so cool. They're gonna, they're really gonna be able to use their help. <laughs> I think they're used to hard work. Aww. Okay, now we just have to get through this trial because I have like a really bad feeling about the trial. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> We've kind of been leaving you here for a little bit, actually. Ouch. Okay. Oh, he looks pretty formidable. Yeah. That, okay. That is... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's... Oh, did we really embellish the injuries? Come on. I knew it. Yeah, you could have fooled me. I think maybe he's changed since that incident. Oh, really? We're not even going to hear? No. Holy crap. <gasps> oh, did he just speak? <gasps> Oh, okay. We recognize. Whoa, didn't see that coming. Oh, see, we've all, we, we already have a new path in life. Oh, but maybe the king will respect his courage. Maybe. I don't know. But if we're exiled, then we can go and do... Then we can go back and just uh, hang out with Rimuru. I think he really admired... Oh! Uh. But it's not, it's how he. <gasps> he means you. He, he, you know what? I think this king sees a little bit more than. So did he know that, did he know that he was really responsible for it then? Is that one of Rimuru's potions? He sees results from Rimuru, but not from Vesta. Mm. Wow. Oh. Wow. We, we really uh, veered off our path, though, I think. What are they going to do to him? <gasps> oh! This is what we wanted to be able to go off with Rimuru, so he gave him an exile. But, I think the king recognizes, like, we really could have used Rimuru's help. Uh-oh. So we are not ready to really let Rimuru go. <gasps> oh, well, there is a reason for that. <laughs> Actually, it turns out they are good friends. In fact, they're almost kind of family now, aren't they? All right, you guys, that was so much fun. Um, wow, we really got a lot 
in there. I don't know what the proxy thing meant. I guess we'll just have to kind of like wait and see. Or maybe it was something obvious and it went over my head. Um... But yeah, it was really interesting to get to see like a little bit of background on this particular region. We got to meet the king. We got to kind of know, I don't think we know his deal, but I could at the very least tell he is a very, very formidable person and is very focused on anything that can kind of further their might and strength as a kingdom, which is why he just got super focused on Rimuru. And it's funny because like something kind of it seemed kind of innocuous at the time like oh we're gonna make these potions and now we got to where we're going because we had the potions that they needed and oh man it's a good thing um they don't know about the the swords that we replicated because i feel like um that ability too like don't you think that would have a lot of appeal to someone who is trying to build up like an army or a military or something like that. Did I say that? I feel like maybe I said that last time. That, like, boy, if this power fell into the wrong hands or like hands that really wanted to exploit the the military applications of this, like that could be kind of scary. Um, fortunately, I don't think anyone knows except that Vesta um, might put it together that like, how did he get all of that done so fast? And I wonder if maybe he would use that to try and get back in the king's good graces. Like, hey, I have info for you. Um, although it seems like the king does not want to hear from Vesta anymore. That was kind of sad about Vesta too, because like as much of a jerk as he was being, um, I think he just has some really deeply rooted um, self-esteem issues and really let himself go down a kind of a... Um, shady path to fulfill his dreams um kaijin i think was that the name of was that the name of the i hope i'm getting that right i don't know i won't go back now but um just say in the kaijin i think is the name um what's i gonna say Oh, so we got all of them on board, which I was kind of like, wow, how are we going to get this super busy artisan to come and <laughs> help us out? Well, now we have our answer. And he had decided already that he was going to, um, to, to join up with Rimuru. So the exile was kind of, I don't know if that was the king being kind of, um, if that was him trying to be generous you know, to say like, okay, ch clearly you've chosen another path. I'm going to go ahead and exile you. Or if it was just a direct result of, um, hey, you're not loyal to me anymore. Get out. I honestly can't tell. But that kind of uh, is kind of sad for Kaijin and his whole crew because, you know, he had served so faithfully and he seems like the kind of individual who takes what he does and who he works for very, very seriously. So I know that had to um, be very meaningful to um, kind of to not be allowed in this kingdom anymore because he had served it for so long. But as someone who takes his word very seriously, swearing to um, Rimuru, you know, we know just how seriously he takes that to, to tell that king, I don't serve you anymore. Sorry. Um, but that worked out for us in a way because now we have all these artisans who are going to come help the goblins. Um, unfortunately, I feel like we're now on the king's radar in a really big way. And like I said, if he finds out about the swords, that's going to be really bad. Um, but knowing about the potions at the very least shows him that, yeah, we're not dealing with an ordinary slime and we could really use that power. Um... Also, we found out about, like, the, the person we're destined to be with. I'm guessing that means romantically, but I could see them kind of saying, like, well, destined to, you know, kind of be be best friends with or be alongside of, but I don't know. Like, my, my initial instinct is to take that, like, it's romantic. Um, and it really did look like that hero character, which I know, I know that's something they're going to get more into and I cannot wait because as soon as they show me that character, I was like, oh my God, I, I'm getting my hero vibes and I'm so interested. Um, so there's just like a lot, there's a lot to deal with right now. I feel like we're getting more into kind of like some of the, so far we've had very cut and dry, like, okay, this is my skill. This is what I can do with it. It's very like almost video game-ish and like, this is a little quest and this is what I need to do. And this is what I need to obtain and get and do to get where I'm going. And now I feel like we're, we're kind of getting even more into like murky kind of, mm, 
sort of shady, like, people working to their own advantage or having an agenda or something like that. Now we're getting into that as well, which I think um, is going to add a whole new, like, kind of depth and dimension to to the plot. So um, I don't know exactly where we're going from this, but I know that we, we have a few more things. We have a few more coals on the fire now, I guess you could say. So that was a really great episode, you guys. Um, I enjoyed it. I can't wait to see where we're going. For now, we kind of like had a little achievement, but I think we're definitely laying some groundwork for like some heavier drama later. Um, so yeah, um, I loved it. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. As always, thank you so much for joining me today. And please be sure to join me next time. We will watch it together. Bye for now, guys.